What's going on everyone, it's Roar Rifle here, and thanks for checking out this Fallout 4 video. In this one I got you guys an incredible melee weapon that you can get in Far Harbor. Now, I'm going to be quickly demonstrating on how to get this, it's not that difficult, and also going over what it's capable of. And this thing is an absolute beast. Okay, so first off, you're going to want to head to the location called Nucleus, where the uh, Children of Adam is located at. Once there, you're going to have to take on the first quest, which is Visions in the Fog. And then once you have gotten through that quest, you'll get another quest called What Adam Requires. You don't get the quest immediately, you just head inside the Nucleus and talk to the High Confessor in there. Now, you don't technically have to do this whole quest. You'll just need this quest to go talk to someone, and then it'll actually trigger the quest where you get the Adam's Judgment from. You'll have to head up to the top of Inside the Nucleus and talk to Grand Zealot Richard. Once you talk to him, he will give you another quest called the Heretic. Now, this is the quest that actually gets you the Adam's Judgment. So, you don't need to do what Adam requires in order to get this weapon. Select the Heretic quest, and then it'll actually tell you to go talk to Zealot... Theo, Thale, I believe that's how her name's pronounced. I'm not exactly sure how her name is pronounced. But go talk to her, and she'll actually send you off on a whirlwind adventure to do something about Sister Gwyneth, who has um, went insane, basically. She doesn't believe in Adam no more. She believes in nothing. Like, we are all nothing. So it's your decision on whether or not what you want to do with her. You can tell her to leave the island, or you can send her back to the Children of Adam's place. It's your decision, really, or I think you can kill her, too. I don't really know. But anyways, before you actually head to her, you're going to have to find some clues in order to track her down. Once you have collected the few clues, it'll actually send you to this area with a few cabins around. And don't worry, the clues are not difficult to find. They're actually marked on the map for you. Enter inside this cabin, and you'll find out laying on the floor, you'll see Gwyneth's journal. Pick it up and play it, and that'll actually lead you off to where she is located at, at this ruined church over here. Inside here is whether or not what you want to decide to do with her. Once you find out what you want to do with her, then head back to the Nucleus place. And also, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what you decide for her to do. You just have to make some kind of decision for her. And then once you have made that decision, head back to the Nucleus and talk to Grand Zealot Richard again up at the top of inside the Nucleus area. And he will give you the Adam's Judgment. Now, as you guys can see, this thing looks absolutely incredible. I have to say, when I was rewarded this weapon, I was like, whoa, wait a minute here. Did I really just get rewarded a unique weapon over this quest? I had to share it with you all. But yeah, as you guys can see, it has 100% radiation damage. And, I mean, it does have a slow speed attack, but it still can do some devastating damage over time. Especially if you have, you know, a good melee character build, this thing can definitely wreck. As you guys can see, here's a little bit of footage of actually attacking with it. Sure, it may not have the fastest swing, but it definitely, once again, does some devastating damage with each swing. But yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and this helps you out on obtaining the Adam's Judgment. I thought this would be particularly nice for people that play with melee builds. And if you've gotten to Far Harbor, well, definitely get your hands on this weapon. It might not be the best melee weapon you've gotten your hands on, but it's definitely one of the most unique. you got to give it that. But thanks for watching, everyone. And if you can, uh, try checking out my playlist in the description of Far Harbor Secrets and Unique Weapons. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And if you want, try checking out my playlist in the description of all Far Harbor Secrets. You know, like Unique Weapons, Armor... And that sort of thing. If you found this video to be interesting, I'm sure you'll find some others to be interesting in that playlist. And also, real quick, if you can, please remember to take a little bit of your time and consider leaving a like. It's greatly appreciated. Or, hey, maybe even share in this video. That's also greatly appreciated. But this has been a video by your rifle. And remember to stay safe out there, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace out. I was when I first came in here I was like oh yes I'm taking all of this and well let's just say I'm gonna have to take a few trips to get all this because I don't have the pack mill skill unfortunately but still there's tons of items here and I will be making the trips to get all these items I mean even inside this 